Hi Scorpios, I'm here to do your love reading for April 2020. Um, I do apologize for not posting sooner. I did post some videos in March uh, for love readings, but I have been busy. So I'm here now and I hope everyone is being safe during this quarantine uh, that we're experiencing right now. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Please come in and give me an accurate, precise love reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio for April 2020. Thank you, Spirit. I was finna get ready to say November 2020. So November 2020 might be a very big time for you in your love life. And that's y'all month anyway for Scorpios. But I just wanted to say that month for some apparent reason. Or maybe November of last year was something big happening in your relationship in that month. Okay, you have the Ace of Wands. So there's a lot of passion here in your love life. There's a passionate new beginning here that's getting ready to start in your love life. Let's see, because I'm gonna, I'm going to pull cards. And a couple more shuffles. You have the sun. Yes, there's a passionate new beginning happen, happening. It's going to bring a lot of happiness, commitment here. I do see that, Scorpios. Page of Cups. Someone is bringing an offer here. An offer is being brought to you guys. Five of Pentacles. Someone's feeling sad, left out in the cold, or someone finances could not be doing so well right now. But I'm going to pull out the rest of the cards to see how this tied in, ties in. And now that I think about it, I done did Cancers and Pisces readings so far. There's a lot of love and offers on the table for you water signs here from past lovers. Okay, this is someone you, you guys have already dealt with. This is no one new. I don't know what's going on with the water signs, but if there's offers being brought, either they're bringing it to you or you them. Just take it how it resonates. You have the nine of wands. They want to come out earlier. Yeah, whoever this person is that's bringing this offer, standing their ground, or whoever it was, if someone had got hurt, they're standing their ground to this person. So let's see. Ace of wands again. There's a passionate new beginning here with you and this person. Temperance, peace, unity, soulmate. Queen of Swords. Like I said, when this offer is being brought back from this person, whoever it was that got hurt or was on the other end of the stick, they're standing their ground. They're going to be in this Queen of Swords energy, and they're going to have this sword by them ready to cut out any BS. They're not gullible this time around, whoever this person is that's receiving this offer. The Nine of Cups. But this offer that's being brought eventually is going to bring wish fulfillment and happiness. Because I do see a patient new beginning here. No matter how hard this person stands on their ground and try to act, they're going to eventually let that guard down. You have the Page of Swords. So there's communication here. But not only that, this person is watching... You Scorpios, are you watching this person? You have the four of cups at the bottom of the deck. So there's definitely a cup being offered. There's a lot of things that happen. And, you know, whoever it is in this king, uh, queen of swords energy is crying over spilled milk. They're feeling some type of way regarding the breakup that you guys had. But the person that caused this pain is bringing this offer here. They want a passion new beginning. They want to bring happiness and wish fulfillment because they see you as their wish fulfillment or just take it how it resonates. It could be vice versa. But there's an offer being brought here, I see. And I see a passion in the beginning. I see peace and unity and healing. Let me clarify the cards for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. Yeah, the hyphen that came out. So that's marriage. Serious commitment. Institution. I don't know why this popped in my head, but you could go to church. You probably go to church with this person. This could be someone you know from church. That's for a few of you guys. That just popped up in my head. 
seven of cups. This person has a lot on their mind or they had a lot of options. So maybe that was the reason for this falling out or this breakup. But this person's coming in fast with the Knight of Swords, bringing this offer. They're coming out of nowhere. You're not ex expecting the Scorpio or they're not expecting you, Scorpio. Four of Swords. But this person, whoever it is coming in with this offer, they're coming in to heal this relationship. They're coming to heal what's broken. And you have temperance twice. You have temperance here and you have temperance here. This person is coming in to heal this relationship because they see this as a soulmate connection. Two of Wands. This person is making a decision on how to come forward. But they're definitely coming. Okay. The star. Healing. This person is coming in to heal this relationship. I'm telling you guys. King of Pentacles, because they're now in this King of Pentacles energy. Husband material. They're in this stable energy. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the clarifying deck. This, there's a passionate new beginning here for you guys. With this person, I see from your past. They're coming in to heal this relationship and want a new beginning. But it's up to you guys. It's up to whoever it is in this Queen of Swords energy. Because they're not too for sure, I guess, due to how the relationship maybe had ended. What's going on with these cards? Yeah, they're not too for sure here. But I do see this person coming back. It's like they're coming out of nowhere. Give me one more card, Spirit. Okay. So you have remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. So it's saying that you are loved. This person, you know, does love you. Uh, crystal clear intentions. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So if this is the person you want to be with, stick to that. Don't waver in your feelings. Accept them, forgive them, and move on if that person was the one that hurt you or vice versa. Okay, let me pull some more messages here. So those cards that flew out. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. When this person comes back, be playful, have fun, and recapture the romance that you guys once had. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So put your feelings out there. Tell them exactly how you feel and vice versa. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So regardless of how you feel about this person or how they feel about you, put yourself first. Don't be so gullible this time around or vice versa. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So it's telling you to put yourself first, take control of your life, but have fun, you know, and, and tell this person how you feel and vice versa. But I do see this person coming back to you guys, Scorpio, or you them. This person is now in the stable, committed energy, and now they want to heal this. They want something committed. Okay, Scorpios, if this resonates, don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, be blessed.